Hi friends, welcome back to Excel Master. In today's section, we are going to learn how to create expense tracker along with month-wise estimated expense report in MS Excel. Let's see. First, we will enter all the required items in this item column. Then here due amount for health insurance approximately 44,000 and the insurance starting date is fifteen Jan fifteen Feb two thousand twenty two. Last year we have purchased this health insurance. Okay. What is the validity? It is one year. Okay. In this cell, we will select data, data validation, list, y, comma, space, m. y means year, m means month. Okay. Let's see. So for health insurance, the type is, validity type is year, means one year. If I select M, then it means one month. So here I am selecting Y and, and uh, due date should auto populate. For this, we will use a formula. Date year of starting date comma month of starting date comma day of starting date close break so here you will get same date now we are going to add one year in this date so Here add plus and then select this cell. It means we are going to add one year to this date. Press enter. Perfect. The policy has purchased in 2022. The validity is one year. Then 2023 came. Now we have to remove one day from this date minus one perfect suppose if i select as m then only one month should get added in this date for this here we are going to add a if condition so first i am going to copy this formula then if type is equals to y comma if it's y then this formula get executed otherwise comma paste the formula here remove the date from the year date add it to the month plus select this cell it means in this date, we are going to add this value in month formula. Perfect. Now close bracket. Enter. See, I have selected month. Then system has calculated along with this date with one month, which is 14th March 2022. Suppose if I have I am selecting Y, then year getting changed perfect next here the expiry days how many uh, days are remaining in this due date is equals to today minus this date sorry perfect three days it means Today is 17th 
ফেব্রুয়ারি সো ইটস অলরেডি গন ওকে হিয়ার উই আর গোয়িং টু এন্টার এ ফর্মুলা ইফ দিস ভ্যালু ইজ গ্রেটার দ্যান অর ইকুয়াল টু জিরো দেন expired otherwise if this value is greater than or equal to minus 7 then expiring soon otherwise blank क्लोज ब्रैकेट परफेक्ट हियर द ड्यू डेट इज ऑलरेडी गॉन सो द स्टेटस इज शोइंग एज एक्सपायर इफ ए चेंज द डेट हियर फॉर सपोज मार्च देन द ड्यू डेट इज फोर्टीन मार्च फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज आर लेफ्ट हियर ब्लैंक suppose if i select first march then also okay february 25 see here minus 7 days means here expiring soon perfect copy this formula select other cells press control d to copy top column values perfect here car insurance in average so starting date is 10th jan 22 and the validity is 1 year perfect bike insurance 1200 or 2000 this was purchased on 15 5 22 what happened eight month here okay here this is also one here we will take as two years okay car puc it is approximately uh, 200 starting date is 15 9 22 and this is for six months so we will change the type is month six months validity next bike puc 60 and this is 18 11 22 this is also six months internet 2000 11 8 22 this is also for 6 months mobile bill this is for every 1 month perfect okay now in this table we are going to calculate the total amount which is due in every each month here end of month today minus 1 so jan 23rd 
plus one day. So starting of the month. Here we will add date function. So here first February two thousand twenty-three. So we will select the year of this date, comma month of this date, comma one close. Okay, we will change the date format. Okay, and here both are same dates, so we need to add one month. Plus one, perfect. So. Copy this formula to bottom. Control D. Perfect. Here we are going to enter a sum if function. Sum if yes. Open bracket. Sum range due amount. Come on. So due date we are taking here. so we need to select the range comma the condition should be the month starting date and a month ending date we have to select as a criteria here greater than or equal to and symbol select the month comma select the range comma less than or equals and end of month starting date comma zero close in february 2023 if you check these two dates are coming 2000 and 44000 means 46000 for rupee format symbol press control 1 there you can select custom and you can manually enter the uh, symbol and hash hash comma 3 hash you can get the this symbol from google also then press okay perfect now copy this formula see here it's a zero value for march 23 march 23 only 200 pieces there suppose if i change any values or any dates here for example today this is already expired car insurance so so today i have renewed it i will enter today's date see here this is gone March, May twenty third, May twenty third. Suppose I have renewed this today, then this is also gone. Here, sum forty six thousand. Custom. perfect hope you understood this calculations if you have any doubts or any queries as always you can 
send me the feedback in the comments box thank you thank you for watching this video thank you